Hey guys, so I'm here today to film my September favorites slash current favorites. These are just things I've been loving for the last few months. I don't think I did a favorites video in August. I don't know. But this is what I'm loving right now. Um, it's super gloomy outside, so the lighting's kind of horrible, and my husband is actually homesick and he's napping upstairs, so I usually film in the room next to my bedroom, but I'm filming downstairs now because I don't want to wake him up. I'm a nice wife sometimes so I'm just gonna get into it I'm gonna start with my makeup items first um the first thing I'm loving are actually some brushes these are these style master brushes I ordered them off eBay and these eight brushes cost I believe $13 Canadian and the shipping was free for eight brushes these are basically dupes of the uh sigma sigmax brushes now i don't have many of those brushes i only have the f80 which this is a dupe of and i can tell you the sigmax brush is a little bit denser but for your money this is a way better deal you get four large brushes a flat top kabuki a domed rounded kabuki a rounded kabuki on a stick and one of these pointed brushes this is really nice for blending in your concealer um, these are all really nice brushes. I love these three for my foundation. I use this one for my concealer or around my nose. It's nice. They are definitely dupes for the Sigmax brushes. They aren't the exact same, but they are so similar. And then you get four concealer brushes also, or I guess smaller brushes. They're all the exact same brushes, but in smaller form. I love these for buffing concealer under my eyes. Um, I use this one to get a race paste out of the bottle, kind of apply it and then I use one of these brushes just to buff it out it's fantastic I love the concealer brushes I love even more than I love the other brushes because they blend your concealer so flawlessly all three of these ones are really interchangeable they're fantastic um I'm gonna put a link in the down bar from where I found them but all I did was google on or search on ebay synthetic foundation br foundation brushes I don't know if I mentioned but Stacey Brennan showed these in a video talked about how great they were how they were dupes of the Sigma brushes I ordered them it takes a while for them to come because they are coming from I believe China um but they're just fantastic they do smell a little bit like manufactured when you get them the first time but once you wash them they smell fine my next favorite is my beauty blender um this is not even a beauty blender sorry this is the real techniques foundation sponge I don't know what it's called I'll link it in the down bar as well this is a fantastic dupe for the beauty blender this was six dollars in Ulta and I absolutely love this I've been using this more than my beauty blender what I like about it is that I kind of like this pointed edge so what I do is I kind of pounce my product on this way and then it kind of helps to get under the eye this way and you can also use the, I use the tip to kind of blend in concealer it's just fantastic it's just it is the same texture and feel as the beauty blender it works just as well as beauty blender at a fraction of the price I still love my beauty blender I will still buy beauty blender but I do absolutely love this I've been using this non-stop to apply my foundation for like the past month love it and speaking of foundation the one I have been using is the Neutrogena healthy skin liquid makeup this is one of my holy grail products I absolutely adore this this is probably my fourth bottle it might be my third I think it's my fourth though so... yeah I think it's my fourth um this is actually a brand new one because I ran out of my Neutrogena Healthy Skin because I've been using it non-stop it was probably like half full or at least a quarter full and I used it all up this is a great drugstore foundation it's a dupe of the NARS Sheer Glow obviously the coverage is lower and the glow is way dewier and way more way shinier I guess than the NARS Sheer Glow but I do absolutely love it if you are into the glowy skin look you will love this I am in the shade Classic Ivory um, and for concealer, I have been loving the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is just in fair. Um, I've been applying this under my eyes. It is super brightening. It's just a really nice concealer. I've used this much of it. Here's my issue. So when I go to twist more up, I end up like twisting the top off. Like I don't understand and then I have to twist it back on and I can't figure out how to twist more up. And then by the time I get there, I've like exploded product. I don't know if mine's broken or what's happening, but something weird is going on. I feel like I just heard it click a lot, so I just feel like I just got a mountain of product out. I was gonna try to swatch it for you guys, but you can't even see it on my hand because it is my skin color. But yeah, I really like that. It's very brightening. I actually haven't even used my NARS concealer at all except for spots, so love it. Um, I am obsessed with the NYX Eyebrow Gel in Brunette. 
This stuff is the bomb.com. This is definitely a dupe of the Makeup Forever Aqua Brows. I am going to do a blog post on this because I am so obsessed with it. You need the tiniest amount of product to do this. I just put way too much on my hand. Um, this is too much product. Right there. It's just that little, that's way too much product. I'm not going to need that much. I apply it with the Sephora Angled Eyeliner Brush. Looks like this. I just kind of dip it into the product, wipe it off like that, and then I just use this to apply my eyebrows. It's perfect. I can draw under my brow, fill it all in. Makes my brows super defined. Today they're looking a little shabby to get them done, but I love this stuff. It's waterproof. It stays put. Honestly, to get this off my hand, now I'm going to have to use a Mar my Marcel Cleansing Water. A makeup wipe won't even do. It's fantastic. I love this stuff. Don't buy the, Ma the Makeup Forever Aqua Brows unless you definitely can't find your color because this is a dupe and it's like $6 at the drugstore and it's fantastic. I love it. Um, for eyeliner, I am loving this Urban Decay Duo in Rockstar in Perversion. I actually don't think I've used Perversion yet, which is like kind of a sin. But Rockstar is just the most beautiful like smoky purple liner. It's, it's like a dark plum. It's kind of like metallic. I love it. It's fantastic. Amazing. For lips, I found the perfect lip combo. I kind of find that the Revlon um, lip butter in red velvet is a little bit too glossy and a little bit too brown toned. And so I bought the Annabelle lip liner in, I believe this is called Berry. This is one of their new um, always sharp twist up which is basically a dupe for the Smashbox one and I totally love it this is the color just a beautiful pink berry color and if I take red velvet which is kind of broken let's not talk about it and I swatch it next to it so this is what it is. it's a little bit sheer it's kind of a brick toned red but if I put it on top of berry it is flawless it turns into this gorgeous like muted, I don't even know. It's just like the two colors together are fantastic. It's a super inexpensive lip duo. I absolutely love it. It just kind of adds more pink tone to the red velvet and it's just amazing. On my lips, it's fantastic. I love it so much. And then the other lip product I want to talk about are the Pretty Zombie Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. This is what they look like. Yes, this is a black lipstick. Yes, I'm wearing a black lipstick on my lips right now. Don't hate. So now I want to rave about these, but I haven't tried them out that much. Honestly, they are insane colors, as you can see, and they are the same color they are in the tube. Um, I'm thinking of doing a blog post on these, but I just need to test them more because I just clearly have not tested them that well. I got the color Potion Number no. 9, which is a gorgeous lavender color. I adore it. I got the color Three Witches, which is fantastic. I'm going to link their Instagram below because they post amazing pictures of girls wearing their lip products. This is Three Witches, just a gorgeous, like, perfect violet. Then I also bought Purple Potion. I haven't even, this is the one I haven't worn yet. Which is just a nice pink toned purple. I bought all the purples. And then I bought Black Cat, and I just want to show you that this is super opaque in one tiny swipe is all I did and it's super opaque. I didn't do two layers. This is one layer on my lips. I actually wiped some product off to make it easier to apply. They just have doe foot applicators like this. They are amazing. These are I believe $12. I bought four. Shipping to Canada was only $8 which is not bad and I just love these. They have amazing colors. They have a blue. They have gorgeous reds and pinks. I just own so many reds and pinks. I need to get the crazy colors, although I also own so many purples. They dry to a pretty matte finish. If I touch my lips right now, oh, it does come off a little bit. Ox. But yeah, they dry to a pretty matte finish. They look drying on your lips a little bit, but they don't feel very drying. And I have really dry lips, but I just love them so much. This black lipstick is like I've been looking for the perfect black lipstick forever and this is it. These are amazing colors. I will link them below. They're just fantastic. I love them. Couldn't rave enough. The last makeup favorite is my NARS blush in Madly. I just, 
I'm obsessed with this blush. It is just the most beautiful, perfect, warm toned, like just love it. It's just a nice warmth on the cheeks for the fall time. I love it. And then I have three skincare favorites. My first one is the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Salve for active hands. I My cuticles have just been a hot mess lately, so every day I have been applying this multiple times a day. I'm really bad at applying hand cream, so I've been trying. I love this stuff. It's amazing. It smells really medicinal. That's how you know it's good for you. And it, it's a little bit greasy, but it's supposed to be because it's super hydrating. And I bought this um, Clarins Gentle Foaming Cleanser a couple months ago, and I am obsessed. This is, first of all, you need the tiniest amount of product. Like, literally, if I take this much product on my Clarisonic, it's too much. Like, it foams like I've never seen a product foam in my entire life. It's amazing. And I just love it. It leaves your face feeling squeaky clean, which I love. I love knowing my face is just like so clean. It couldn't be cleaner. Oh, it makes me so happy. Literally, this cleanser is like $30, but because you need the tiniest amount ever, I will never, ever run out. Like I needed like 10 times the amount for my Kors um, milk, milk protein foaming cleanser. Amazing. And my last favorite, I know I literally just hauled probably like last week, but this is the Biotherm Aqua Source um, Moisturizer. Ha huh, Moisturizer. Uh, this is just a moisturizer for dry skin. I absolutely love it. Um, looks like this. It's just a pink kind of gel consistency. Um, let me see. This is what it looks like. Oh my god, why are all these things turning on? And if I kind of blend it in, you can see that it's kind of this gel consistency. The swatches are real. It's just a really nice gel consistency. It's super hydrating. It's not overly hydrating, which I can find, I find can break me out. This one does not break me out. And this container will last me my whole life. And the dehumidifier just turned on. So those are all of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later.